By now, some of you will have seen the announcements we've made as part of our budget. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what we're doing to try and transform mental health services and finally ensure that mental health is taken seriously in New Zealand. You know, a couple of months ago now, I heard the story told to me directly by a woman who had been suffering pretty significant depression. And she told me that she'd been referred to services before and she would always nod along when someone gave her a referral, but she would just never go. And there were times when she really reached breaking point. But the person she had a relationship with was her doctor. So when her GP service started a practice of bringing mental health uh, trained professionals into their doctor's clinic, and she was able to be taken by her GP, walked around to the next office over to talk to someone to give her mental health support, that that made all the difference to her. So that is what we're going to roll out through the entire country, putting mental health professionals into doctors' clinics so that people who need support get it exactly in the right time that they need it. I absolutely believe this is going to make a difference because I've heard from people already where it has. I also know that we don't have enough addiction services in New Zealand, and I know that because I've been to places where they've told me they have absolutely no residential facilities and a high need. So we have, in this budget, created 2,000 more places for addiction services. We've invested the most significant investment in domestic and sexual violence that any government has invested. It's all about finally breaking the cycles of violence, dealing with mental health issues properly, and also, in this budget, we deal with poverty issues too. Yeah, I mean, this is really the wellbeing focus in action, getting government agencies and departments to work together on the long-term challenges we've got, fixing those problems, acknowledging that it'll take some time, but that we do have a plan to improve the wellbeing of all our people. We've got to do that in the economy as well, and so there's a focus in this budget on shifting ourselves to addressing and tackling climate change issues, helping our, our farmers to make sure that they can make the shifts to be more sustainable too, and also preparing ourselves for the you know rapidly changing nature of work. Uh, we're investing a significant amount in our venture investment fund. That's about taking small businesses, helping them grow and stay in New Zealand while they grow. Now budgets are always about balance, and we have been able to balance the investments we're making with our budget responsibility rules. We're keeping our debt low and we've got a surplus. And those things are important because unexpected things happen all the time and you have to be ready for that. But we are making the big long-term investments at the same time, especially in fixing our schools and hospitals. We've got a 10-year plan, a billion dollars, to fix up our schools. And over the next two years, we're going to put one and a half billion dollars into fixing our hospitals. They're the big long-term investments that we need. So it's a balance. I think we've got the balance about right. We're looking out for the long-term well-being of our people and making the investments we need now. Ultimately, a budget that's not about the next three years, but about the next 30 years.